All right, we just got the new Peter McKinnon variable ID filters. We're gonna unbox them, see what the hype is about. I bought these on my own. I don't get paid for this, so this will be a real review. Not like the rest of the YouTubers that honestly you can't trust anything they put out there. Yeah, here it is, the Helix Defender. $600, over $600 worth of filters right here. Are they worth it? Well, let's see what the build quality looks like. Really heavy. Looks like it comes with the filter and two bases. I think one should be an 82 and a 77. My biggest reason for buying this was sometimes when I'm out shooting, I like to take pictures and obviously with the VND on, you kind of have to have a slow shutter speed. So I like to pop my filter off real quick if I'm taking stills and this seems to make it a lot easier. Is it worth it? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to find out. Looks like they give you an extra cover for the front. Another cover. I got an extra 77 millimeter step up ring because my other uh, lens is also 77 millimeter. So I figured if I have two of them, I don't have to swap them back and forth. And this is the six to nine. I feel like when I shoot in F log two, I kind of do the uh, six to nine for most outdoor shooting situations. this out all right I'm gonna get one of the lenses and see how we mount this thing. All right, so this is not uh, pre-recorded. This is the first time I'm gonna be putting them on. So I guess let's see if we could figure it out. So this is the front. Let's put the 77 millimeter ring on here. a little bigger than 82 millimeters I'm not gonna lie but I guess that's to account for the magnets and stuff All right, so this says the rear so I would assume this goes on this way it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be it's pretty bulky. It's 
got a very tactile feel for the clicks. That's pretty nice. You could easily see the, the numbers on it. All right, let's see. I mean, it is pretty quick. It's definitely gonna help out when I'm trying to just get some quick photos in the midst of a video shoot. You can just pop it right off, snap some photos, pop it right back on. I like it. Is it worth the $329? Probably not, but I guess uh, Peter McKinnon has to get his nut, so he's probably taking like 50% of that. Uh, would I recommend it? I guess so, if you got money to burn. Uh, it's a little bulkier than I thought it would be. I mean, it looks like almost you have a half inch coming off the tip there. I guess we'll use it in a week or so when I'm down in Florida and see how it works 